Hey Mike, great introduction to Terraform there. I've been using Terraform in some of my own projects and it's really proven its worth. Even in AWS projects, where you would have thought the better tool would have been CloudFormation. Maybe we should do a comparison there sometime. Recently, I've been working on anti-patterns in software projects. And one of the things that I've noticed people doing a lot and not very well is handling secrets in Ansible. We haven't covered Ansible yet, but a lot of people will be using it in their day-to-day -day operations. And when they look to store a password or any other kind of secret in their variables, they tend to be doing it wrong. If you have a password in your Ansible variables file, then you're just one stolen laptop or one compromised GitHub account or one of many other vulnerabilities away from getting your password stolen. This goes for anything involving secrets in your professional lives, so I don't feel it's something we need to labor. Plain text secrets are bad. So, what can you do? Well, Ansible has a feature called Vault that allows you to encrypt a variables file with a password. Great, so now all we have to do is put our secrets in the variables file, encrypt it, and then enter the password on the command line whenever we need to run a playbook. And then when it comes to a project with more than one person on it, just share the password, right? Over Skype, maybe? Maybe if your CI tool needs to run some of the code, just store the password in a file that's very, very hidden. One of the pet peeves of using Ansible Vault is that it doesn't scale very well alone. Indeed, I'd recommend taking a look at HashiCorp's Vault if you want to do secrets management on a large scale. However, if you go and look at the documentation for that project and come back feeling a little bit overwhelmed, maybe you want to see if you can try and make Ansible Vault work for you for a little bit longer. And there are a few tricks available to make Ansible Vault work for you as part of a team and as part of an automated build process without compromising security. One obvious solution is to share your passwords in a password manager like KeePass. Indeed, you may be using a tool like this already, so it's pretty easy to get to grips with. But KeePass itself doesn't allow multi-user authentication, so you're going to be switching sharing one password to just sharing another. Other tools exist to solve this problem, but a password manager isn't very easy to put in an automated workflow either. Logging into your password manager, copying out the password and pasting it onto the command line every time you want to do a playbook run, that's something that's likely to land up with that password being put into a cheat sheet in plain text on your user's hard disk very quickly. Another solution is GPG or PGP, where each user has a private key and everyone's public key is used to sign the password file. In this way, access can be granted on a per user basis and keys can be revoked when they're compromised. Ansible doesn't support GPG encryption, but it does support getting the passwords from a password file, so we can use this to hack together a solution. First, get everyone that needs access to your secret to send you their public key, and go ahead and install them all so you can use them. Second, generate your vault password. It can be created from anywhere, but again, don't save it in plain text. Instead, pipe it into GPG directly. Choose your team mates when asked, and make sure you've output the encrypted file to something sensible. Create a bash script that decrypts your password using your GPG key and add that bash script to your Ansible configuration file. Now you can simply use Ansible Vault as normal and it will decrypt on the fly. And there you have it, a surprisingly robust solution for scaling out Ansible Vault to a whole team. There are a few issues, one being that every time you revoke a key, you're going to have to roll your secrets. And this is where a good RBAC strategy comes in. Does your UI designer really need access to your third-party API keys? I'd love to hear how others are handling their secrets in Ansible. GPG encryption seems to be a favorite amongst the community, but I'm sure there are other ways. And Mike, I'd like us to do a video at some point on HashiCorp's Vault. It's much more powerful than being used just for storing secrets for a configuration management tool. And Mike, I look forward to your next video.